Greetings people and welcome to this Hearts of Iron 4 video. In today's video I'm gonna show you a more or less secret kingdom and also the strongest way to actually play the weakest path in the Hungarian focus tree. So for that we will select the first focus balance budget. We will probably delete half of our army like that. The rest will just go into training. We will put one cavalry version into training. Prioritize the equipment on it, and we will delete our entire air force. And speed five, build some mills. We will only produce a close air support because it's overpowered. And let's go. So first focus finished. We are hire the advisor of Hershey's demagogue, and we will go now for strange monarchism. And of course we will prepare for civil war and expanding civil support that our stability goes down. Well with being below 50% stability and having 50 political power, we will delete our entire army. And we will ignite the civil war. And we will rebuild our military factories because for some reason they get reset when we start a civil war. So by now we stop being a kingdom. And that in a video where I thought about showing a secret kingdom. And we are at war with a kingdom, with having Otto von Habsburg as leader. By now it doesn't make any sense, but you will see soon enough. So we will place this one cavalry division into the field. And we will just cap our enemy. And by now we stop being a kingdom. We are fascist, but we will elect a king. I mean, not yet, but uh, soon enough we will. And uh, with the civil war over, we will already prepare an army. And we will join the Axis. And we will now elect a democratic king. A democratic king? But this path is weak. Uh, actually, not that weak. It is weak, but it can be weaker. And with having enough political power, we will make a war goal on Austria. Our first target. But don't worry, they're pretty easy, because since we are in the Axis, all of the troops are distracted to the German border, because Germany of course is a stronger country, so they will defend the German border, even though we are much closer to the capital than Germany is. But AI doesn't believe in falling back. And by now, we are... Wow, what is that? We are fascist? F. Miklos Horthy as our leader? But we are a kingdom again. Yeah, this is a secret kingdom. And with that, basically, Miklos Horty can be, and this is the only path where he can be, because if you do it with Austria-Hungary, you stop being Austria-Hungary and a monarchy. Here we still have the uh, the king. So with this path, Miklos Horty can be our prime minister. And to be honest, it doesn't sound very strong, but if you play it correctly, it can be very strong. And this is what I'm gonna show you. And now we can even could call if we go to Wall Street into our support and get a secret alliance, but that only works if we are at war with Denmark because they have the they have an extra modifier only for Denmark. Otherwise, always their neutrality will work and they won't send us any support. So it's actually pretty weak. And we go. Finished on Austria, we will immediately declare war. We won't call the Germans in. They are just there to distract the Austrian forces. And by that setup, we should just focus on the weakest point, which is over here. And we should take flexible organization that we can circle them pretty much faster. We will pin them, of course. And our cavalry will just spread out. Half of them goes there, other half goes there. Then like this, or this, and the guys which go up here goes like this, then you guys attack the mountain here, and we will just occupy it as much as possible already. We are just trying to encircle the entire Austrian army, which is at some point a bit difficult, like now, but they shouldn't be able to stop us. And we will also declare, uh, we will also just for war goal in Italy. 
Oh, but now we could also hire the Democratic Reformer. He would say sooner than why. Oh, Sweden is sending us land please. We will accept that, of course. Thank you, Sweden. Now this is all about breaking through and destroying all the units. But look at how desperately they try to push us back. They need three divisions to push us back. They're so weak. Now we even get Swedish guns, so it's only GG soon. There goes tiny little Austria. We will of course just nick everything. Hmm, the problem is that we already placed some extra troops because of German troops at the border. So I should change the fallback line over here. Yeah, that's what I should do. And there's the war go on Italy. So our troops will just go to the border. And what we actually could do now to get some extra bonuses in attack. Remove our troops in like that and like this. And shortly before they arrive we will declare war in Italy. And now we have an attack bonus because we are half in the territory already. But we also call in Germany. Are we able to make an encirclement here in the US? Oh damn it, we actually are. Holy. The losses are huge compared to us. Unfortunately, Germany isn't doing anything. And there's an extra circumvent. I love exports. Oh, I haven't said anything. Okay, I have said anything. Encirclement time. And everything goes to Venice. We could even do another encirclement. Yes, give me it. Oh, we can already build our first convoys. That's great.
and the girls entirely. Totally. So what we will do now is just we take a coastal state like this one. And I actually also try to take... Oh. We have a lot of wolf square actually. That is impressive. I don't know. Give me the entire effing colonies. That would be great. Like, I don't know. At least some northern Africa. I mean, this, this, at least this state, Italy is our puppet, so we can just return it. No, I don't want an independent Libya. And with that done, just like that, we got a greater Hungary. A kingdom of Hungary, which has a democratic king, which is fascist, which is ruled by an admiral who doesn't have a navy, with an Italian puppet. And it's also half Austrian and absolutely cursed. But this is how to play this focus for real. Actually, but how I should. Uh, wait. I, wait, I can't return territory for real? <laughs> it doesn't matter though. What I'm going to do now is I will just build stuff in Italy. Probably I will just build a lot of dockyards that I can. Build some convoys. Yeah, this is this beautiful nation. Oh, we are not done yet. So with the war in Italy done, we have now exactly four options to continue this one. Option one, we stay in the Axis and try to take out the Allies. Uh, which is difficult since we don't have a navy. Option two, we join the Allies and fight against the Germans. Which isn't even that difficult since we have now a strong Italian puppet. Option three, we form our own faction with the ball compact and get a faction with Romania. Or option 4 we go to war with any random country and form a secret, uh, form a secret alliance house Bernadotte with Sweden. Which has the same downsides like option 2. And that's the first Vienna award. Perfect. And with that we do now responsible government. And with that focus done we don't have any elections anymore as a democratic country but we are democratic at least so let's make a coalition with the fascists and but now we can just open diplomatic discourse and then hold a national referendum and become fascist again and with that we will leave the axis and go now for the balkan and now we can become fascist again look respect our beautiful prime minister hoti and Romania has joined our faction by now we will probably just integrate our subject to Italy and soon enough we will also just boost a bit the Bulgarian ideology because soon enough they might join Germany if we are not fast enough to bring up to 30% fascist support and if they have Bulgaria just joins us and soon enough also Yugoslavia will and now even Yugoslavia is in our faction so all our spies go I think to Germany Look at this beautiful faction, which is only possible because we played this kingdom. I like how it's this film made here in Czechoslovakia, exactly where Slovakia begins. Oh, did they and they declared war on our on our ally, Yugoslavia. That's not good. I said, was it a British coup? Oh yeah, there was a British coup. I should join the war against Germany. I mean, our entire allied troops should be able to protect our borders, so I guess we should go for an encirclement over here. Oof, my entire army, even though it's not very really big. Because Sweden. Oh, thank you, Sweden, for the manpower. Would have preferred if you would join my, uh, uh, my faction, then easily take on Norway, but I can't have everything. Why are you declaring war the Soviets? I don't understand it. You can't pu uh, push through the Western Front. You are at war with us. Why you can't push because we have the Alps? What is the logical conclusion? Yes, of course. Go to war with the Soviets. That is so smart. Thank you, Germany.
Okay, there goes entire Germany. We have literally zero uh, war score because of course we were too weak for fighting, but uh, it is what it is. So we could at least try to make some smaller land grabs. So we have to leave this peace conference. What on... What on earth is this? Oh my god. So... <laughs> so this is the Soviet occupation zone in East Prussia and also here and also there and also here. And I have part of the Germany in Africa. And here's the normal Germany. This created Greater Franks and Silesia is independent as well as Kashubia. I don't know how. How's even my. How strong is even my German puppet? And <laughs> Zwinkler and he's black. And I think we should also go to war with Ethiopia soon enough. Ah, yeah, not the same problem that we don't have any convoys. I like how Norway's no new capital is Bergen. Originally wants its independence back. Uh, I don't want that to happen. No, I want to integrate you. Stop doing that. Please, Italy, no. Why does it take so long to integrate you? Everybody in my entire army arrived in Ethiopia. Uh, not yet, not all. But soon enough. Ooh, I haven't even been to the naval invasions yet. Come on, let me finally integrate Italy. We go to war with Germany now, again. No, you go have it in Germany. Okay, there goes entire Germany. Now, now we finally got them. So we will just pop it in over here. Like that. Finish. And we will return territory. And even this naval invasion is failing. Oh my god, I hate if you... Okay, well, with this with this land swap bug over here, there's absolutely no point in continuing this run and also no co point in companion. Because what is this? Literally every time I take a tile of Ethiopia, it gets transferred to Great Britain. Why, game? Why? Well, at this point, since now we have this Ethiopia bug and still we are pretty weak, I have shown that this democratic focus tree is still a very weak but it's definitely underrated so at least you can do something because of you can make alliances if you play it as fascist but you definitely should never play it if you want to play it as a normal democracy then you're way too weak you can't do anything you shouldn't do it but maybe give it a try as fascists anyways i hope you liked this video if you did leave a like and subscribe that my channel grows and see you next one bye